Hi everyone, uh, welcome to my channel. In this lesson, I would like to introduce educational package dedicated to the implementation of matched filter with Vitas higher level synthesis. So uh, the package includes uh, implementation in time and frequency domain, design steps, optimization techniques, and guidance on integration the IP core uh, into the Zinc 7000 platform for efficient signal processing. Um, so, I would like to start with the hardware architecture that is used in the package. So, the hardware architecture includes processing system and programmable logic. In programmable logic, there are several uh, IP cores, so namely uh, IP core, it's matched filter in time domain implemented, matched filter implemented in frequency domain. So, uh, data transfer is implemented by using AXI stream switches uh, via AXI DMA. So, the educational package includes implementation of fully pipelined matched filter IP cores and virus high level synthesis. Uh, both uh, implementations are available in time and frequency domain. Integration and runtime configuration the Xilinx, XCDMA, and AXI switch IP cores. Um, matched filter, time and frequency performance estimation and analysis. And uh, all those IP cores they are running under Linux. So uh, Linux deployment for Zinc 7000 with uh, build root author uh, is provided. So, um, the sources for educational package it's a paid content. So, in order to obtain the sources, please feel free to connect with me and I will give you instructions how to get all the sources. The sources are it's a build root author 3 configuration for Linux deployment with widest high level synthesis IP core support and dynamic um, reconfiguration of programmable logic and memory allocation. So this is the Vitus TKL scripts for automating such projects like uh, Vitus high-level synthesis, Vivada project, and the creation of um, bootloader for CD card deployment. Vitus high-level synthesis C++ sources for both implementation in time uh, for both implementation of matched filter in time and frequency domain. So the Python script uh, that allows to create input signal and um, performance estimation of matched filter output, uh, sorry, of matched filter itself. And Linux application where I demonstrate how to handle all these cores on Linux, uh, including data transfer for matched filter IP cores. In order to leverage uh, the educational package, the following requirements should be met. So as setup, I'm using RTS 720 board to the Stink 7000, connected via SSH to the host, Host running Ubuntu 20.4 with installed Vitus 2022.2, and uh, of course, all mandatory packages required for build root and Vitus. Okay, so uh, let's turn to other architecture for the high level synthesis matched filter IP core implementation. So there are two architectures, implementation uh, in time domain and frequency domain. So both IP cores operates with access stream interfaces, uh, 32 bits, 16 bit for uh, real and 16 bit for imaginary part. Both implementation using pre-computed and um, hard-coded complex coefficients. So uh, time domain implementation is based on FIR discrete line uh, discrete filter. This is a simple FIR filter. Uh, with tabs, where the number of tabs corresponds to a number of multipliers, complex multipliers. So, uh, implementation in frequency domain is based on fast Fourier transform, whereas as for FFT, I'm using Xilinx FFT IP core, so plus, uh, plus, uh, plus there is a complex uh, multiplier. So, um, Let's consider synthesis implementation report for 1024 input samples. The signal, the signal is 32, uh, 32 samples. So, <clears throat> first of all, as I already mentioned, both IP cores are fully pipelined and therefore with initiation interval of one clock cycle. Uh, iteration latency, iteration latency for uh, time domain is uh, quite short, unlike, for example, for frequency domain, because this, Additionally, type resources are required in order to perform all FFTs. Um, yeah, and the uh, number of uh, resources 
uh, DSP blocks. So as I already mentioned that DSP blocks or number of multipliers is equal to number of tabs. So for 32 um, input uh, samples of the input signal, it's um, 32 multipliers, complex multipliers, uh, three, mul three DSP blocks per multipliers, and therefore 96, 96 DSP blocks. So here is a 93 because one, uh, three DSP blocks were optimized since some complex coefficients here is equal either to zero or for example to uh, one. So uh, for DSP blocks uh, FFT implementation, so this is implementation from Xilinx, for example, for 1024 points, uh, 30, uh, sorry, 40 uh, DSP blocks uh, are required and three um, um, DSP blocks for complex multiplier. And uh, therefore, so overall, 83 DSP blocks for 1024 points of um, FFT implementation, it's a four frequency domain are uh, required. So, so uh, here I summarized a uh, number of <coughs> DSP blocks um, dependent on number of input samples or input points. For example, for, <coughs> 64, for 64 points, um, uh, 30, uh, sorry, 43, 43 DSP blocks are required. It's a 20 DSP block, uh, 20 DSP blocks per 50 and 3 for complex multipliers so of 43. And uh, in time domain, in time domain, it's a number of points multiplied by 3. So uh, it means that uh, 64 multiply by uh, 3, it's uh, uh, 556 DSP blocks, again, for 64 points of 64 samples. Um, if we pay attention on the end of this plot, uh, so it can be seen that, for example, for 4,000 4, points, uh, if the uh, frequency domain implementation required only 100, around 100 DSP blocks, that is, very, that is really feasible for many, many FPGAs. And of course, it's unlike in time domain, where the number of uh, DSP blocks is equal number of points multiplied by three, and for 4,000 uh, points, it will be more than 16,000 DSP blocks. And of course, such kind of, this kind of solution is not feasible for most FPGA. So um, the main conclusion, um, uh, what to choose uh, a time domain or frequency uh, on frequency domain implementation is uh, quite simple. So if you have, if you if your system operates with a short signal and you would like to get uh, the output is quite fast, so with very low iteration latency, in this case, time domain implementation will be preferable. So and uh, vice versa. For example, for longer for longer signals, um, so uh, feasible for longer signals, frequency domain implementation is feasible. So unlike, for example, in time domain, since uh, FFT requires not so uh, much resources, uh, like for example, fear filter implementation. Okay, uh, let's pay attention on the test procedure. So here are my Vivada block designs that I'm using in indicational package. So as I already mentioned, um, much it, uh, filter in time domain and frequency domain implementation. So data transfer is implemented by using access stream switches that is uh, connected to AXI uh, DMA. So um, the test procedure flow. So on the host, I compile C application and copy it on the target. So besides that, I generate input data and copy this on the file as well. So on the target, <clears throat> on the target, I execute the C application. And um, after C application finished, so binary files uh, with output produced by each IP core will be created. Besides that, so I can check also timings. So how long it takes to calculate uh, input, to calculate the entire simple, entire uh, sequence in both IP cores. So um, afterwards, uh, I need to copy the output binary files back to the host and then run the same script in order to perform performance estimation. So the output, the output, it's uh, I already, um, so it's like here, for example, my input sequence, it's uh, three signals in certain position. And um, with amplitude, for example, full scale, uh, minus one and one, a half uh, minus uh, uh, dot five minus dot five, for example, and uh, more half quarter. So and uh, <clears throat> here I have much filter output and relation ratio 
between the amplitude is uh, the same as I had in output. So this is a very important because uh, much it filter um, shouldn't distort anyhow signal or lose, for example, signal energy. Okay, so uh, let's test um, the hardware design with uh, both AP cores by following the test procedure flow. Um, so first of all, I would like to connect my uh, target. I have connected RTZ7. Let me first try to ping it if it's reachable via Ethernet. Okay, yeah, it's here. Nice. Let's SSH. SSH root and default. Okay, here we are. So uh, here I already have uh, much it filter folder. Let's go to the folder and. Um, uh, first of all, I need to dynamically uh, reprogram program the logic part and initiate memory allocation. So for doing this, I will run uh, the init sh script with hello uh, dbo. Okay, okay, let's let's go to the host. And so first of all, I would like to compiled C application, so for doing this I need to go to match it filter folder. So um, application here, let me clean and let's compile it. Okay, compiled application should be copied on the target. Test and target. Ah, sorry, I forgot uh, where to match it filter folder. Okay, here we are. And uh, let's go up and uh, let's create input binary file. So for doing this, uh, I will use um, Python script. It's a Python match it filter pi. Uh, so here I have three, uh, three signals. So with uh, offset, it's a 200 bit bins, 400 bins, and 600 bits. Besides that, every signal has a certain amplitude. For example, here is a full scale, half, and quarter. Okay, so let's uh, run the script. Three Python match it filter. Okay, so this is a sharp signal. So the, we have uh, currently sim folder with uh, input binary file that also should be copied on the target. Okay, uh, the in and uh, match it filter folder. Okay, let's go back to the target. Okay, so here I have um, input binary file and C application. Let's run C application. A test. Okay, let's run one more time. Let's run one more time. So from <clears throat> from uh, timings uh, can be seen that, for example, from the log can be seen that frequency domain requires uh, three. Uh, so at least here, like three, one, or three microseconds uh, more uh, compared to much of filter implementation in time domain. Okay, so after uh, we run the C application. Um, two files can be found here. So this is an output from much uh, from both IP cores. Let's copy them back to the uh, host and run the script again. So for copying, I will run root. Uh, match it filter folder and the out and in the sim folder. Okay. Well, let's let's check. Yeah, so nice. So here I have input and uh, two output binary files. So let's run script again. Uh, but in this case, I need to set a flag one since I would like to parse output files. Okay, and uh, here is an output. So the output here, um, so uh, it's an input signal. Input signal, it's a signal on positions that uh, were set in the input uh, binary file so starting from um so with offset uh, 200 bins second one with offset uh, 400 
400 bins and here piece of set 600 bins yeah and amplitude of course it's a full scale half and quarter so here i have a much at filter output so and as can be seen uh, from the plot that uh, amplitude also is uh, like a full scale half and quarter so it means that there is no distortion of uh, signal energy or signal amplitude uh, while much it uh, filtering so and uh, here also can be seen this uh, much it filter output it's a uh, real and emac part so uh, real uh, emac part is completely the same uh for both time domain if you can see domain implementation uh, and uh, for uh, real part a uh, real part it's almost the same except only one thing i guess maybe this is caused by overflowing somewhere yeah uh, I, namely overflowing in much filter uh, in sorry um frequency domain implementation so it can be checked maybe uh, maybe uh, scaling coefficients for much it filter should be adjusted here should be adjusted here so okay so that is so uh, I hope you uh, really enjoy this video I wish you good luck with your embedded designs with your digital signal processing and if you would like to boost uh, up your experience uh, feel free to contact me in order to obtain the educational package thank you ciao